Hi, my name's John Arnold, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Spider Pro 4. Now, for those of you that already know the point of calibration, you might want to just skip ahead about a minute in the video where I'll start talking about the Spider Pro itself. But for those of you that don't know, calibration of your monitor is a very important part of your photo editing workflow. The reason for that is if you've ever tried printing a photograph, you'll know that the colours you get out of the printer sometimes are a long way from the colours you expected when you were working on the photograph. And the reason for that is that your monitor is giving you all the information you need in order to make your artistic decisions about how the photograph should look. Now, if your monitor is not giving you correct information, then the decisions you make will be based on false information and your photograph is not really looking the way you think it is. So if your monitor is a little bit too orangey or if your monitor is a little bit too greeny, then the colours that you set in your, that you uh, design in your photograph and the brightness values, you know, the blacks and the whites and things, if your monitor is too bright or too dark, those things can affect the way the image looks when you save it to disk. And of course, that file that you save to disk is what you then send to the printer. So. Uh, it's critical that you monitor right because the monitor is where you make your artistic decisions. And so you really need to make sure that you are calibrating your monitor, not just for colour, but also for brightness. Monitors these days are getting extremely bright, particularly Apple monitors. I use uh, a 27 inch iMac as my main photo editing workstation, and I have to have my brightness set all the way down to half brightness in order to get the colours and the brightness to look right. So if you set your monitor too bright, of course, you'll edit your photos so they look right on your monitor. Everybody else's monitor is much dimmer, so the photos look much dimmer to them. Now, if you check uh, any photo sharing website, you'll see multiple examples of people who have uploaded photographs that look very dim. If you look at the histogram, you can see it's all down the dark end. And the reason for that is in most cases, they've got a very bright monitor that they've got set to full brightness. So when they edited it themselves, it looked right on their monitor, looks wrong everywhere else. So it's very important that a, mon a calibration tool like this one will also measure brightness as well as color. And of course, let's get into talking about the Spider 4. The Spider 4 does do that. So one of the steps in the calibration process is going to be checking how bright your monitor is and guiding you through the process of setting the brightness to an appropriate level so that you've got uh, good light and dark values in the images when you're editing them. Now, the process of calibrating your monitor is the same as with just about every other calibration tool. The software that you installed is going to have a series of color patches it displays on the screen. You dangle this device over the back of your monitor and you press this part here up against the screen and this is going to measure the color values of those color patches, send that information back to the software and it's going to profile how your screen displays color and from that profile it's going to generate a color profile that your machine can load whenever you restart it and it will change the way it displays those colors to make them as correct as possible. Very simple process, takes about two minutes to five minutes depending on whether or not it's a calibration or a recalibration and uh, it is, to be honest with you, a bit of a ball's ache. You can set the software so it reminds you every couple of months to do it. Um, <clears throat> once it does that reminder, the first time it does it, you'll go, oh, I'll do that later. And you'll do that for about a week, and eventually it'll annoy you so much that you'll actually go ahead and recal recalibrate. But it's an important process because the calibration does drift on monitors. It's important to keep recalibrating every couple of months. So do definitely turn that feature on and take note when it asks you to, ask you to do it. Now, Data Color, the company that makes this, uh, tells me that this is their most accurate color emitter ever, and I have no reason to doubt them. Most of these color calibration tools have got uh, three patches for red, green, and blue. Uh, this one has got seven patches of different colors, which just gives the device that little bit more information about uh, how the colors are being rendered on your monitor, which allows the software to give you an even more accurate color calibration. That's great. I love that. It's a bit hard to, as a user to see the difference, um, but uh, I, it's good to know that somebody is thinking about the quality and accuracy of this calibration. Also, this device has got in the front here a brightness measuring tool which measures the brightness of the environment where you're editing. So it will actually feed into the calibration process how bright your editing environment is going to be. And it can, in the higher models of this tool, also tweak that uh, monitor display based on, the based on how bright your environment is right now. So if you leave this device plugged in, 
it will tweak the brightness of your display so that your colours and your brightness values continue to look right, even if you're going into, if, as the day gets darker or as the sun comes out, it can, it can reflect that environment. Obviously, you do want to try and keep it as consistent as you can, but the tool here is going to, going to help you with that. Another great feature of the Spider 4 is that it can be used to calibrate an iPad or an iPhone, which is a really nice tool for those of us that are taking uh, portfolios out on the road and we want to show customers uh, some of our images. We want to know that they're looking as good as they can be. Um, you can only calibrate using the Spider uh, software that goes free download on the iPad. Um, so the calibration only works within that spider picture viewer but uh, but it's a very useful tool and it is good to know that your photographs are calibrated there too now i've used a couple of different versions of the uh, spider products in the past i um, owned a spider 2 um, i tested a spider 3 but declined to buy one because i found the software clunky and unreliable um, and the Spider 4, I'm happy to report, they've really sorted all those problems out. The software is dead easy to use. There's no difficulty at all. It's pretty fast. It takes about five minutes first time through and about two and a half minutes every time after that. So it's reasonable. Um, and uh, uh, basically, it just works the way it should. If you really want to drill down into extra features, if you get the Spider Elite, which is the top model of this product, then there's all sorts of extra information that you can get to do with, for example, how well uh, colors are rendered, um, how well the brightness varies across your monitor. I found that there's a darker strip across the top of my monitor, so I need to bear that in mind when I'm editing. And you can really drill down into all sorts of extra features about matching monitor colors between various workstations as well on the pro level tool. So if you really want to get deep into the, uh, uh, if you've got like a, a studio and you've got multiple workstations, you really need the elite version. For those of us that are at home, uh, we really only need the pro version, which still gives you all the brightness monitoring stuff and lets you calibrate multiple monitors, um, but uh, doesn't have all those extra uh, monitor analysis tools. There is also a Spider Express version, which frankly I would avoid. It doesn't have the brightness monitoring uh, uh, gadget on the device, and it only lets you calibrate one monitor, uh, and it's only £15 cheaper. So I would spend the extra £15. Um, so instead of the £90 Spider Express, I would get the £105 Spider Pro, and uh, I think that's £15 well spent. Um, so to round up, Calibration tools, not desperately sexy, but a very, very important part of making sure that your photographs look as good as they possibly can. If you care about the quality of your images and the quality of your output, you really must calibrate your monitor. Uh, Spider 4 is an excellent tool for that. It's great value for money. Um, it would be lovely if it uh, calibrated printers as well, but it doesn't. If you want a device that can calibrate a screen and a printer, then take a look at the Color Monkey, but be prepared for Sticker Shock because whereas this is about £100, the Color Monkey is about £300. So, really, in terms of value for money, I think this Spider Pro 4 is uh, absolutely uh, the winner there and uh, it would make an excellent Christmas present. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.